Hey, Merry Christmas, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. Doing a daytime review for once. Only 18 days left till Christmas. Thought I'd do an actual Christmas beer. I've actually done this one a few times. This is St. Bernardus Christmas Sale. Uh, let's see. St. Bernardus Christmas Sale takes on a splendid dark brown color that is topped off with a cream colored layer of froth. It's an intensely dark beer with a full yet slightly fruity notes. Doesn't make sense. Overflowing with the taste of winter and zesty seasonal aromas, 10% ABV. So we can see you get in the glass here, and it is classic Belgian quad, super dark mahogany chestnut brown. They weren't lying when they said big frothy head. Yes, absolutely. Um, let's give it a whiff. Yeah, it's a classic Belgian quad, Belgian candy syrup, and... The, the yeast esters are a lot uh, more prominent on this one, so I get like a, maybe a little banana, but I also get a lot of clove, a lot of clove actually. The alcohol is, is there, but it's, it's kind of in the background. Oddly enough, I do not get any like actual Christmas spices. So, you know, usually when you think Christmas spices, you think like ginger, Orange peel, nutmeg, not so much cinnamon. That's more of a pumpkin spice, but let's see how it tastes as a Christmas beer. Cheers. Mmm. Yeah, um, pretty sweet. A little, uh, you know, definitely a lot of clove kind of uh, phenolics going on there. Maybe like a tiny little bit of smokiness. But otherwise, yeah, this strikes me as like a really authentic Belgian quad. But I do get a little bit of chocolate on here. Um, it's kind of like a, I'd say it's more like a dark chocolate. Um, it doesn't strike me as like especially sweet. So it's just, it's, and also when you have the, the spicy phenolics, the, you know, slight kind of clove, um, and again, I'm, I'm not tasting any actual Christmas spices, so I don't, I'm not really getting orange peel or nutmeg or anything like that. I'd probably say like medium full body and also highly carbonated. And it does, even though the, it has the high carbonation, it still is slightly creamy texture. Lovely combination of, you know, just the Belgian candy syrup base. So you're just kind of getting that melange of the dark fruits, you know, dates, raisin, plum, fig, uh, maybe a little cherry in there. Like none of these, these fruits are like, you can't like pick them out. It's just like if you put them all together, that's the kind of flavor you're getting. Although I, I will say it's more on like the dry fruit kind of side than like where the sweater weather was more like a fruit punch. I was getting more like cherry and berry kind of flavors. This one is more dry fruit kind of flavor. I like it, and you know, for a 10% beer, it's pr pretty easy to drink. Really comfortable mouthfeel. It just, my only complaint is that, you know, they're calling this a Christmas beer, and to me it doesn't taste like really Christmassy. I was actually gonna use this for the BJCP for the winter seasonal example, but I don't think that it would be a good example because there's no Christmas spices in here. It's just all yeast as far as I can tell. That being said, it's still a good beer. It's still a good quad. Um, definitely the kind of beer you would want to drink on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day around the fire or whatever. So um, I'm going to go, people might think this is low, but I'm going to go solid 4.0, 4 out of 5 for the St. Bernardus Christmas sale. Check out my, uh, my book in the description below. I still have a few copies left. I will autograph them and send them to you for real cheap. You can get it on eBay for $9.99 plus a dollar shipping. Check out my Amazon store. Great gift ideas for you or the beer lover in your life. And if you watch all the way to the end, you are awesome. Thanks for watching, and I will see you tomorrow. All right, cheers. Somebody brewed it. Chad just reviewed it. Thanks for watching Chad's beer reviews. Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better.